So I've done a couple of videos before on my YouTube channel about the WSJTX software and interfacing radios to it. So we're talking about the ICOM IC9700, the ICOM IC7300, uh, the IC705, even the Yaesu FT991A, all those kind of radios. Now some people run into an issue with WSJTX dropping out while the radio is transmitting. So the radio will be happily transmitting along for a little while and then all of a sudden it throws a USB error such as one that's displayed right up here, if I can find a screenshot. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna show you in this video how you can resolve this issue. Well, at least how I resolve this issue. You may have uh, better thoughts. Let me know in the comments below if you've fixed it a different way. But this method uh, worked for me. So the first likely issue that this is, is common mode current, which flows on the shield of the coax line while you're transmitting. Now this can happen for a variety of reasons, but to stop it, I did do a video recently about using one of these, an FT, I think this is a 240, might be a different model. Anyway, have a look at the video, I'll put a link up into the cards and also in the description below on building a common mode current choke, which you can put at the feed point of your antenna to stop or to reduce current flowing on the coax line and producing RF in the shack. Because what happens is the RF flows in the shack and can flow all over the place. It can make hum on your microphone. Uh, it can drop your USB out. I know I've had uh, issues with this microphone before where I've been streaming and I have had common mode current and RF flowing around in the shack and I've had hum and all sorts of things. I think I've fixed most of those issues now. So the first thing is to do a common mode choke or build a common mode choke. The second thing, and this is the thing that usually fixes the problem for me at least, is getting a high quality USB A to USB B lead. That's generally pretty high quality, I think. It's a printer cable and you'll see here that it's got a toroid on the end of the cable. This toroid by itself does not fix the issue that I've also encountered. So what I did was I got a, I think this is, a, again, it's a Mix 240, uh, a Mix 43, FT240 Mix 43, I think it is. And you'll see here that I've very loosely wound the USB cable around the toroid uh, for, I don't know, half a dozen turns or something like that. Now, your mileage may vary, but this fixes the issue for me and I don't get those USB dropouts that I was getting before. So uh, I could make this neater if I wanted to, but I have been lazy and I just haven't done it. So all I've done is just wrapped it purely around the toroid and that fixed my issue. Now you may get other issues which might be hardware or driver related. Make sure that you've always got the latest drivers installed. So uh, for instance, the ICOM website has the latest drivers for the 7300, 9700 and 705. Other radio manufacturers may be the same as well. So you might also get those errors, but this is mainly when you've got it all set up and it's actually working and your radio is transmitting and all of a sudden it drops out. So I hope this fixes your issue and that this video was informative. If you have an IC7300, then I have a setup video for WSJTX right here, so click on that.